Check it out, my dudes. <laughs> oh, yeah. Do we got them all? Magneto. Jean Grey with really good paint apps. Beautiful. Uh, we got the Executioner. Don't know anything about this fool, but... Oh, they don't have... Oh, man, that would have been nice if they had Nightcrawler as well. Cyclops and Goblin Queen. No, someone already took those. Okay, I guess they wanted the popular ones. Yeah, Nightcrawler, Cyclops. Yeah, they're probably the most popular ones. It's all good, though. Definitely opened these up, so... Hmm. It would be nice to get them on clearance, but, man... Yeah, it's gonna be tough. These are X-Men related. Yeah, definitely got these... Getting, getting lucky today, man. Let's see. I better hold on to these just in case. Just in case. Oh, it would have been nice to see the rest, too. Although the night call doesn't look that different from the, the uh, version prior to. Oh, they got Robin. Yeah, these were on clearance last time for like 15 bucks. Yeah, I'm pretty sure y'all saw the clip earlier in this video. I've been uploading a while, so I don't even know if I'm going to put that in the video because I don't want to... Well, I may show some of the older ones. Yeah, just to see what y'all... See what I've... Show y'all what I've been hunting. Luigi. I know Mario's going for 950 here. Maybe even cheaper. Honestly, I kind of rather have some smaller Mario figures. Like this Donkey Kong. Yeah, like the other one's a bit too big, you know what I'm saying? It just takes too much space. And I love that Bowser figure as well, but yeah. A little bit big. Alright. Oh, they did have something else I'll show you right here in a little bit. Some Ninja Turtle stuff. These are on clearance as well. Alemfede. Turning the Goddess. Oh, we got Cyclops here! Whoa! Dude, okay. What a nice surprise. Solid work, team. See you on the ground. Oh, the paint app is not the best. Okay. Not too shabby, alright. Not too shabby. Got a shark. 25.50? What? This is on clearance. Um... Ross? Yeah, I'm pretty sure I saw it at Ross. Dang, that thing is expensive. Holy crap. I guess just because it's flocked. Alright, wrestlers. Can we find a chase for once? All the times I've been hunting, I've never found an AEW chase. I feel like all the early birds usually get it. You got WWE Championship belt. Point Dread and Talon Fighters on clearance for $25.50. Snake Eyes not on clearance yet. Alright, let's move on. Alright, they don't really have anything else new, but they do have these. This way from, let's see. I don't know what year. I know some people are going crazy for these or really hunting these down, but. Just like all these retro ones, man, like, it was inevitable that they're gonna just restock these. They look alright, man, not bad. Yeah. I decided to not get any of these retro figures anymore. It's tempting, quite tempting, but... Yeah, I just have so many other ones just in the box. All right, let's get out of here, my dudes. All right, it's the 12th or 13th. And check it out, we got some Joes. We got Copperhead. $4.99? $5.99, okay. That's right. 
That's a great deal. Make sure this hasn't been tampered with. Heck yeah, dude. Yeah, it's Ross, man. They keep on restocking a little bit here and there. I will leave this one here. Don't need to. If y'all are wondering why am I using my old camera, old phone, it's because I'm just familiar with it. Just, uh, just comfortable. Yeah, caustic. I really wish I got all the original costumes for this line, Apex Legends. Lifeline. Is that the original suit? I forget. Pretty sure this ain't the original one for caustic. Let me know if I'm wrong. I used to play it a while back. Very fun game. I should get back into it. But then again, I'm trying to stray away from playing too much video games these days. Been playing a lot of one player. Oh, we got one of the twins, of course. Another caustic. Some Gundams. Oh, yeah. Sounds like Bandai. How much are these going for? Eleven ninety nine. They were twenty five, supposedly. Sakura. Gotta. These are, I think, fourteen ninety nine as well. Yep. Ooh. I mean, cheaper than retail, but still a little, a little pricey for them, in my opinion. More Gundam. Shenlong Gundam. This one's Master Gundam. Something to add to the Joe collection. What is this? Ghost Files. It's got really nice details. Let's see how much it is. Twelve ninety nine. Seems like a pretty good price. Oh, they got this sewer sprint race game. This is going for four ninety nine. Sweet. Right, I think that does it with the action figures. Let's go ahead and move on. Check it out guys, here in the waiting area in front of Ross, they have Quasar. This is new at Ross, $5.99. I got this from, um, pretty sure I got this from um, Walgreens, right? Gosh, I can't remember. There was a couple that they didn't fulfill. It was um, Jigsaw, maybe just, just Jigsaw. I think I got Quasar. Yeah, I really like the effects. I mean, that comes with like Human Torch as well. But yeah, $5.99 for a Marvel Legend, excellent deal. You got this set as well. This uh, Megatron. Ooh, let's check this out. Uh, not my cup of tea, $24.99. Really like the artwork. That's how they attract us. And they got Sabretooth, $5.99, great deal. Pretty sure I got them at Target for like seven something, so anyone who's trying to build Bone Breaker, yeah. Check your rosters. Alright, let's let's roll out. Alright, I'm at Ollie's. The only thing new that I see are these. Starting lineup, backboard, basketball goal set. Just pretty cool. I do have Luca. I want LeBron and um Steph Curry, but have yet to see those. <laughs> I've seen some highlights of Trey Young. I, I just don't watch too much NBA these days. It's mostly highlights. Oh gosh. Mostly because I don't want to pay for the streaming services. Right. I've seen some highlights of him as well. Hey, I may get them down the line. Maybe when I get like a 15% coupon from all these. But $3.99 for this? Yeah, definitely pick up. Man, that's pretty hefty too. This definitely shows how much Hasbro just overproduced and try to overcharge us and this is what they get. I don't know if I showed this last time, but they have a whole bunch of these uh Figurin Den. Well she could just army build for the Cantina. Yeah. Got plenty of them. It's crazy huh? how much they have. Yeah, you can build a Literally an army of them. And they're priced at $9.99. Yeah. But 
Yeah, that's about it. I went through the toy aisle and they had the same old stuff, you know, same old legends. So yeah, let's get out of here. Alright, check it out. They do have a couple Doc Ox. Really nice to see those. We got Magneto and Goblin Queen. Okay, I forgot that she's part of this wave too. So I got everybody else yesterday, but except Nightcrawler and Goblin Queen. Oh, look at that little cute little baby. It's got a little face go. Goblin Queen looks all right. These are in better condition. Oh man, Magneto looks awesome, man. Look at the face sculpts. Fudge. I'm gonna open up the other ones. No, I gotta get a second one to keep on card. Very nice, man. Target does have a deal right now. If you spend like eighty dollars worth of toys, then you can get uh, fifteen dollars off or something like that. A couple iron spiders. Not interested in those? Already got an iron spider. Yeah, I'll grab these. Man, I wish the whole wave was here. Then that would have been a nice little deal. Oh well. You win some, you lose some. We do got the mutt and junkyard. Too bad. I could combine it with this. Get fifteen dollars off. I feel like I can get those on clearance later on. I see a lot on the shelves. We shall see. Look at this. Is that the DeLorean? No, it's Lamborghini. I got these, of course. They've been sitting here for quite a while. Same old Transformer. Yeah, let's go to the NECA section. I'm really hoping they have um, some of the last Ronin figures. I doubt it. Today's actually uh, the day when uh, NECA is releasing like the collector's con figures. It's kind of ridiculous though because you got to pay shipping. I had four of them in, in my cart, but it came out, the shipping came out to like 27 something, which is crazy. I'm pretty sure these are going to be released at retail stores, so. I'm just gonna wait and just pick them up one by one. All right, let's move on. Check it out, my dudes. They got what I came for. They got Two Face. Ha! It's been a long time, bird boy. Let the kid go, Two Face. Make one move and I'll wring his feathered little neck. Paint out looks pretty good. It's a bit smaller than I thought. Damn, look at his feet. How is he gonna stand, dude? Because it comes with a stand. <laughs> it should. I'm pretty sure I do have a $5 off coupon. It's Batman. Paint apps look alright. Little blemishes here and there. Yeah, definitely invested in this wave. I was hoping they had uh, Killer Croc, but it doesn't look like it. Unless he's on this other side. And then Superman. Tanjiro. Look at this Darth Revan statue. I think it's like a six scale. Yeah, it looks like it was maybe seven. 80 bucks. A little pricey. Alright, do we have any more Batman adventures, figures? No, we do have this Batman. I'm gonna stop by another GameStop, so hopefully they'll have it. Two Face, maybe the whole rest of the wave, that'd be great. We shall see. Alright, it's the 21st of March, and I'm here at a Ross. I got this nice Pokemon set here. Pretty cool. It's going for $10.99. was $25. These are really small though, so I feel like it should be cheaper. $15.99 for these. A little pricey, I'm, in my opinion, for these as well. These are like basic figures, very basic Ninja Turtles figures. But I mean, it comes with cloth goods, so they have everyone except well, they they only have Michelangelo and Donatello's. They have Bride of Frankenstein, $8.99. Looks like the Mutant Mayhem figures are starting to show up here. We got Mikey and Raph, $6.99 each. This is a pretty cool set. Bowser, Mario, and Princess Peach. This is going for... It does not have a price. Oh, it does. $12.99. 
But yeah, so Ross is continuing to restock on some new stuff. Got these sewer shredders. These are going for $7.99. Well, supposedly $11. Got plenty of them. Dicky toys. $4.99 for a set. Yeah, if I had kids, I would definitely only shop at Ross. When it comes to toys, they have a lot of great kids' toys. It's really cheap. Forge, Soprano, got a bunch of these anime statues. Gundam figures. Pretty sure we've seen these before. Oh, they got this set here. $14.99 was $44. Holy cow. Sounds like a really good deal. A couple of two small figures, but something in there is just putting them away. Some piece there. Must be more stuff in the back. Hmm. Whole bunch of RCs, of course. And Pokemon set. So we got some Dragon Stars. These are going for $14.99. Yeah, I'm surprised these are not, not like $9.99. Super Saiyan Kaba, Zamasu, Bardock. Got a Bumblebee here. This is a pretty basic $5.99. Got the Jurassic Park handheld game. $7.99, was $17. I thought about collecting these, but eh, I'm good. They're just gonna be stored away. I'm not gonna really display them, so. Billy Butcherson reduced to $11.99 or $8.49. It was $11.99. And we've seen these two plenty of times. That's about it, dudes. Now, let's move on. Alright, I'm at a GameStop and check it out. They do have the two that I need Kill a Croc. <laughs> And Batgirl. Heck yeah. Kind of sucks that they don't come with a build a figure, but it's really cool. They come with like a, a photograph in the back. Well, this one does. Well, I guess all of them does. They might be lenticular. Now I think about it. I love how McFarlane does that. Whether they put trading cards in these or now these lenticular photos. Paint out looks good on this one. Kill the crop. Big body, small legs. I love the look. Oh yeah. I picked up the other two the other day. Has Storm here too. I don't have Storm yet and Yeah, they just came out with the animated series for the X Men ninety seven yesterday or yeah, yesterday. I saw the first episode. Gonna watch the second episode when I get home. Yeah. Tell the boy to pick up Storm because I don't, I don't ever see her at um, Walmart. Uh, mark it down, pops. Or buy one, go one, fifty percent off. Oh, peanut looks kind of bad. Yeah, I'm gonna skip on this one. I'm pretty sure I'll see her again. I'm at a Ross the 22nd I believe and they restocked a lot of stuff at this particular one Got the Jurassic Park handheld game plenty of those Rav, Mikey we saw these yesterday at another one look at this only fractured from Mirrorverse oh we got blue as well these actually look really good there's blue it's quite tempting but yeah I'm not gonna go down this line Donald Duck. We got Bell. These are going for $4.99. Very good deal. Got Mickey Mouse. And another Mickey Mouse back there. We got these page punchers. $4.99. Are these page punchers? I think they are very similar to them. Looks like all Batman. Um, I forget this version. Um, they got Catwoman. Gold label collection. 
It looks okay, actually. This is from, yeah, the, based off the movie. Yeah, not too bad. Okay. Oops. I'm not gonna collect this now. Uh, it's nice to see all this stuff, though. Wow. What else? I got, yeah, several cat women. Yeah, two more back there. Superman page punchers, four ninety nine. A lot of anime stat statues, of course. Got this Fortnite Raptor. It's going for four ninety nine. Nice, nice, nice. Very nice. Anything else interesting? I was hoping to see some Marvel Legends over here, but nope. Got the Boba Fett Funko Pop set. These are going for $12.99. Semi truck with all these smaller cars. Dicky toys. $21.99 for the set. Man, yeah, they have a lot of great stuff for kids. Regal Lacerda tops. A lot of anime statu statues, of course. Oh, excuse me, my eyes. Very itchy for some reason. Hey, Ben. Yo. How's it going? Um, I farted on Jason's pillow as a practical joke. He farted on Jonah's, thinking it was mine, and then eventually pink eyed my pillow. Um, not proud of any of this. Well, you can get a pink eye from farting in a pillow? Totally. Mm -hmm. That's awesome. Yeah. yeah, but you gotta be bare-assed. Jesus, Martin got it bad. Would someone take a dump right in your eye? No. Mm, no pink eye for me. I'm just really... Hi. Oh, look at this. Sully. Big Sully. $7.99 for this huge... This thing is heavy as heck. Holy cow. Man, that's a hell of a deal. Dang. This is, this is a video game? I've never played it. Man, this thing looks really nice. Holy crap. Quite tempting. Man, $7.99 for this. It's crazy, man. This thing is one of the heaviest. Yeah, I've never encountered a... McFarlane packaging like this that's this heavy like man that's a lot of freaking plastic in there it comes with like some kind of dial piece man that face coat looks really good come on it's Hanus who knows that reference <laughs> that was an interesting movie Young Jedi Adventures $6.99 for this set they got some Nerf guns Pokemon set figurines. This go. This is go fourteen ninety nine. Plushies too. Yeah. Oh man, it's dirty though. Gundams. We've seen plenty of those. Yeah, it doesn't look like they have anything that I want. Got the Mutant Mayhem foosball set. $19.99. RC. Hanus! <laughs> I'm really tempted actually to get this for some reason. Maybe gift it to somebody. I don't know anyone that plays Mirrorverse or. My fan of Sony. Damn, this thing is gigantic, dude. Yeah, we'll give this for someone who's a huge fan. Check it out, dudes. My Target's NECA section has some new stuff. Restock on Leonardo esque the creature. New black looking. And then let's see. We got this Chucky here. Comes in the good guy's box. I wonder if it's the same price as like the Ultimate Edition, which comes with so many accessories. Face sculpt is kind of bad though. Kind of surprised. I like the card art, but I mean, that's not appealing enough. 
This is new to me. Prince Voltan from Flash Gordon. It's a goofy looking character. Lots of face, four face sculpts, with a lot of accessories. And then we got Ezio. Ezio, I forgot to pronounce it. Assassin's Creed. Looks good. Body's kind of, yeah, it looks kind of big for the head, but still pretty cool. I got right here. Body numbers. Two on comics Joker. Focus. focus. I've seen these before. Alright, let's move on. Alright, my dudes, it's the 26th of March, and they're actually having a sale where you can buy NECA figures if you um, purchase, make a purchase of $30 or more then you can get $5 off. If you make a purchase of $75 or more, then you can get $20 off. That includes toys as well from the regular toy owls, like Marvel Legends and such. So, I've already bought some stuff the other day, yesterday, even online, so. Ooh, kind of surprised they still have men right here. May get this. Oh, restock on Rex? Weird. This was part of a holothon a while back. Alpha Predator. Xanatos. Frankenstein. Damn, I was hoping they have uh, Wrath as Wolfman. Dreadmon? Oh, why is this here? Strange. This replica of Freddy's glove. And yeah, nothing too new from the looks of it. What's this? Iron Maiden? Yeah, I think we've seen this several times. Hopefully they have some legends. That'd be nice. Do have Batman. Scarecrow. set let's move on all right let's hope this target has something more interesting Ooh, pretty weak selection oh they do have Earl Sinclair finally see him and she just ordered him last night along with Dracula this one was actually going for 26 something on online I mean these face sculpts are amazing haven't seen the movie but big fan of vampires Oh, this looks great. I got the baby too. I actually saw the baby at the other Target, but yeah, I didn't really have anything else, so I didn't show y'all. Should have, would have, could have, right? Well, let's pass. Gotta put it behind. We do got the thing, Iron Maiden. Oh, we got a slash. What does this look like, right? Casey Jones, metal damaged. We do got Rocksteady, Street Dog, April. The other the first set of Ninja Turtles from that line is uh, showing up at Ross. I saw all of them except Mikey the, uh, yesterday. I don't think I recorded it though. Just didn't have anything else. And I was kind of lazy. Stephen Curry. Vecna. A whole bunch of Vecnas. And Eddie. It's kind of surprising Eddie is sitting here. But then again, yeah. Not as many people are buying collectibles right now compared to a couple years ago, no doubt. Hi. Right. It's really nice to see this though, finally. Jeez. Let's take another look. Yeah, I love these face sculpts. Looks amazing. It's such a good job. Yeah. <laughs> kind of got that look uh, like that baby filter. Not just the men, <laughs> but the women and the children too. What I, hey, I forget what you call it. It's one of those filters on TikTok or one of those apps. Oh, 
calling them a bug man and electro zapper. All right, let's move on. Been seeing a lot of restocks on this fella, Necron. It's kind of weird. He used to come with Bane in a box, I'm pretty sure. You got Calibac down there. Mutton Junkyard. No Legends. Damn. Oh, they got one Iron Spider. You know, I didn't get to see Luffy on the Figure Arts line here in the Charlotte area. It was a period of time when I was hunting as much. Maybe that's when it arrived. Yeah, this is a fantastic Naruto figure. Looking forward to get the uh, uh, Sakura and... Uh, Damn, why am I forgetting his name? I'm totally blanking out. Alright, let's move on. Alright, my dudes, it's the 26th of March. I'm at a Ross. And they've been restocking a lot of stuff. Not a, stu not a lot of stuff that I collect, personally, but look at this. Best Action Ninja Turtles. McGrath. Donnie. Leo. And Mikey. So I have the whole crew. $9.99 each. Which is still kind of not the cheapest price. Was retail 18 bucks or 19.99? Feels like 14.99. I could be wrong. Actually, 20 sounds right. But yeah, it's really nice to see these here. And they also have Black Adam with the throne. I actually bought this a while back at Target for like I forget. It was like 14 something maybe somewhere around there, 15 bucks. But then I actually returned it. So I'm gonna actually cop this now because it's only five bucks. Heck yeah, and the face sculpt looks amazing. And of course it comes with that throne, so. And they have the Lophosaurus. She's a little bigger than I would like. Yeah, I feel like it should be smaller. Yeah, it just wouldn't look right. Just playing with all the big ones, in my opinion. $6.99, supposedly it was 26. That's crazy, dude. Let's see, have another Donatello here. Another Mikey back there. Adam, is that Adam Smasher? Yeah, Adam Smasher. Yeah, for $4.99, man. These are so cheap. I still have some of these Mirrorverse figures. Someone did take that big Sully figure. I think it was like 20 pounds. How much is this? I think $9.99. $4.99. Okay, yeah, these are cheap too. I'm good with these though. It's tempting, but yeah, I'm good, I'm good. Just gotta be more selective. Slinky Dog Jr. Going for four nine, no ten ninety nine. Oh. Alright, that's cool man. It's pretty accurate. It's hard to mess that one up. Got this Mario with the banana. Oh, I thought this was gonna be four ninety nine as well, but eleven ninety nine. Yeah, compared to that, man, five dollar difference. It's pretty nutty. And they have a lot of Hot Wheels. Three ninety nine. They were nine. More Dilithosaurus. Oh, they got the turtles here from Mayhem. Six ninety nine each. A whole bunch of rafts and Michelangelo's. They got the handheld Jurassic Park games here. Got plenty of those. Let's see if we can find anything else. Fortnite. Ooh, oh, we got Catwoman. Yeah, they had a whole bunch of these, but not many left. Oh, they have another Black Adam there. Very cool. This one is quite tempting. The face goes not too shabby, but yeah, I don't think I'm gonna collect this. That particular Batman line. Really only want this for the the throne. And the face sculpt is pretty amazing for a McFarlane figure. A lot of times they mess up with the face sculpts in my opinion. A lot of nerf guns, man. It's crazy how nerf guns got popular again. Maybe it was always popular, I just didn't notice. Sully, fractured Sully. Four ninety nine for this big fella. Yeah, four ninety nine. 
see anything hiding here. Young Giant of Jedi Adventures. This mask of a dinosaur goes for $7.99. Some Mobile Jones. I don't think so. I got Larry from YouTube. Is that what it says? Look at this set. $22.99. I can't believe this was $58. And it comes with a lot of characters, but man, these are small. These are very light. Oh, look at this. Hot Wheels, Race Reverse, Black Panther, Rocky Raccoon. Captain Marvel, Captain America, and Thanos. <sighs> I think that's about it. Of course, a lot of these statues, as always, $14.99. These are like everywhere at TJ Maxx's, probably at Burlington as well. Dude, still have the Boba Fett pop set. That's a good looking pop. I think that's about it my dudes yeah let's get out of here check it out dudes here in the waiting area they have snake eyes with timber for 11.99 that's such a good deal it's quite tempting i just want timber honestly because i already have snake eyes and this comes with a cloak yeah. possibly more weapons i'm not 100 percent sure yeah that's really tempting Eleven ninety nine for just a wolf. Should I? Fudge. I wish it was like four ninety nine. <laughs> Still an excellent deal. I almost passed by this. It was kind of hidden back here. I do have this Tanuki Mario as well. Let's see how much he's going for. Five ninety nine. Goomba. A lot of Mario sets. $12.99 for this one. There she kisses. I got these Young Jedi Adventures. I've seen a lot of these here. Got this 10 inch Hulk. But yeah, man. $11.99. Another Snake Eyes. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I do have yeah, Snake Eyes. I guess I could just sell the other, right? Or one of them. I'm pretty sure the suit's possibly a little different. I'm not 100% sure. Crap. Hmm. I'll think about it. <clears throat> oh, snap. Check it out, my dudes. We got Scarlet Spider in the house. And we got Last Stand Spider Man. Which I'm not really interested in. A whole bunch of Doc Ox, Iron Spider back here. Man, this looks fantastic. Man, it actually... Ah, I'm going to have to compare this with the Mayfax one. This looks really appealing. God, this looks so clean. Hmm. Yeah, the eyes look a little different from the Mayfax one. I'm pretty sure it's different. And look at this. This is new. Cobra Metalhead? He's probably, yeah, same price as... um. Yeah, the, oh, another... New, whoa! Dang, look at this action soldier infantry, dude. Comes with cloth goods, a lot of freaking accessories, dude. And what's this recon diver? Man, I'm telling you, the Joe line is so freaking good, man. I haven't, I have no nostalgic connection to it, but love collecting this line i just pick and choose like the ones that i'm, I'm really attracted to got mud and junkyard yeah i'm pretty sure oh no these are 34.99 oh no wonder this is the only one this one's got a little bit of damage on the corner and look they restocked on some NECA toys here very nice mostly the same old stuff yeah nothing new except they got this I forget his name Rex something right 
Three Hero Series. Did it say his name? This is like a different version. Not familiar with this character. But very cool. Not gonna get it though. Yeah, Rex 9 or something like that. Awesome, man. They, they do have that deal right now on Target. If you spend $30, you get $5 off. If you spend $75, you get $20 off. So this is $25, bucks, i am sure. Man, these are really tempting. So $25, $34. Damn, I'd, I'd have to buy two of them in order to get that $20 off. Man, this one's really tempting, man. That one too, actually, but this one looks really nice. Love that cloth good. Man, so many accessories. Fudge. Cobra Metalhead. This one looks awesome too. I love the helmets. Yeah, I'm going to end up getting these eventually. Even the mutt and junkyard. I could get them right now and get $20 off. I'll think about it. Man. Oh. Okay. Other than that, I don't really see anything else new. Yeah, same old stuff. Alright. Um, let's go to the NECA section. Or the other NECA section. Right, I do have NGO. Let's go to the other NECA section. See if they have uh, the Holothon stuff. Which I highly doubt. <laughs> Check it out my dudes. They do have Wolfman. Over here in the other NECA section. Anything else new? Robo. Okay. That's Restock. Robocop. Bunch of Angela's We've got a Brooklyn back there. I haven't seen this. Oh, this looks nice. Man, I picked up the Raph as Frankenstein because I started to be attracted to that. And I did get the Leo with Hunchback as well. Um, because I like that more than the swamp. Or the um Yeah, Swamp no not. The creature of the lagoon. Leo. Leo S. Sorry, I'm getting distracted here. Yeah, that looks, that looks clean. Man, so many choices. That's oh, raw too. I'm pretty sure we've seen this already, I think. Oh no, maybe not. I already have the Mesco version, so I'm pretty content with that. Uh, even though this is a bit smaller. Yeah, dang. Man. Yeah, I gotta pick this one up. This one looks good. Watch. Hey, I really wish they had the uh, Holothon stuff, man, so I can get discount on those as well. For some reason, this week, a lot of NECA stuff is working with the target coupons which is rare or actually never happened let's get out of here dude we are having a hell of a day of hunting look they have the leo uh motu mashup first time seeing this i don't know how rare these are let me know in the comments if if you have if you've been finding these pretty easily man at arms yeah this is a mashup too It was already damaged, so just saying. Yeah, these don't look nothing, nothing like TMNT. Oh, okay, like the knee pads. I got the shell look. Same with the pauldrons. Hmm. Got some dinos on sale. I need you to jump in and grab a fulfillment bag. See what else I have. Son Goku from Naruto. Interesting. <laughs> Not Dragon Ball related. We got the. Uh, this is a restock, I'm pretty sure. Silver layer. If you buy this itself, you can get 20 bucks off with that coupon. Now, there is a, a Target Circle coupon as well where, where if you spend $120, you can get a $15 circle, $15 coupon for later on. So, I feel like if I can use. $120 worth of stuff. Damn, that's not gonna be enough. 
We get fifteen dollars off and an extra twenty. I'm gonna do some math, see if it's worth it. Um over here on this side they got some stuff on clearance. Let's see, we got Sabine, three and three quarter, thirteen ninety-nine. We got these for thirteen ninety-nine, three eighty-nine for these three and three quarter carded figures. Revla, nobody wants her. Yeah, that's really pretty terrible. Just my opinion, don't hate. Uh, got this Holocom collection, Botan, Bo-Katan, $13.99. Yeah, cool, cool. Cheetor, a little Cheetor, $4.40. Alright, what's this? A little Donkey Kong. I think it's $9.99 now. Yeah. Alright. I think I'm gonna ask uh, an employee to see if they can find a Holocom stuff. I'm at the same Target that I was at yesterday. Nothing new except this tombstone. Dude, these face sculpts look amazing. I forget if I have the older tombstone from Marvel Legends. But yeah, this is definitely an upgrade. And look at that suit, man. It looks so clean. You could definitely, I'm pretty sure, swap out the hands. And oh, I wonder if that neck peg comes out. <laughs> Excuse me. Hmm. Maybe. <laughs> now it looks like the head and the neck is one piece, so yeah, it does come off and I forget if all the, most of the other Marvel Legends heads have a neck peg like this. I should know. <laughs> I still have the Recon Diver, which looks awesome. I don't know if I showed the back yesterday. Got these as well, metalhead. That's about it. Yeah, let's get out of here. Alright, check it out, dudes. Pretty sure early in the video you probably saw the same setup. I'm back at this target today. It's the the second of April. And they do have this Sinja Patrol troop reinforcements from the last round in line. I'll open this I can. I don't see any other stuff from the Holothon. This is part of the Holothon, Holothon event. Man, these look pretty cool. I'm not gonna get in. Yeah, I'm not gonna army build this. Damn, I'm surprised this is the only one here, man. I'm guessing someone else, I guess, took the rest. Unless it's somewhere else. There is another NECA section here. Other than that, no Marvel Legends. Seems like they all sold last week. Oh, they do have Iron Spider and a couple of Doc Ox. And then... Look at these. Hulk Fist. <laughs> Looks fun. Uh, McFarlane stuff. Yeah, they just have this old Necron. And the Joker. From Infinite Frontier. And that, yeah, that's it. Yeah, hopefully they have some holothon stuff at the other neck of section. Let's go check it out. Alright. Come on. Show me some goodies. Oh, no way! Oh my gosh, my dudes! Oh my gosh! This is the one I really wanted. They're restocking on this. No freaking way, man. Holy crap, we got the punk turtles and we got... Dude, they got the prey. Ultimate Bear Blood Feral. I think it's like, yeah, he's like in camo mode. Dude, we're the first ones to get this, man. Holy cow, man, that's sick. Oh, baby, that's what I'm talking about. They got plenty of these too, man. They got four Leos, three Raths, one Mikey. Oh, let me take a look at these, like, what's the difference? Man. It looks like they have, like, a darker shade of green. So it comes with different accessories. Man, I wish I found this last week. Because they had that deal where if you purchase, uh, make a purchase of $75 or more, you get $20 off, man. Well, kudos and, um, you know, congrats to those who got that deal buying all this stuff. Man, this is crazy, dude. I can't believe we... Oh, dude. I am so stoked. 
I don't have to visit any other targets. Damn, I was gonna stay home today too, man. So I'm not feeling too well. Man, this looks sick. Dude, I'm so happy. I do want the Neca Prey figure, but I don't know about this version. I wish I could. Oh, you know what? I think it's a slipcase. Let me go get a cart real quick. Just so I don't get this stuff taken. All right, I'll be right back. All right, check it out. Here's the ultimate bear blood feral predator. It's got a slipcase on there. Looks pretty cool. I, I rather, yeah, I'd rather have the other version, which I've never seen in the wild yet. Hopefully they restock it. I know it's available on Entertainment Earth. Sold out on Big Bad Toy Store from what I checked last night. And check it out, they also have the business suit Casey Jones and the foot soldier that's split in the middle of the head and chest. Which is cool, but I'm not gonna get I don't need any more foot cartoon foot soldiers. Alright man, I'm so happy, man. The foot ninja. This looks pretty cool. I'm not gonna get this. There's some more stuff from home. Oh, let's see, yeah, here we go. Elite guard. It's pretty cool. And here's Kirby. I've been reading the IDW version. Here's a uh, uh, Baxter Stockman, which looks cool. Yeah, I don't think I'm gonna get these. Man, really good face sculpts though. Yeah, very nice, dude. Alright, man. Oof. Yeah, so. Then we get the punk turtles. These turtles. Man, I really wish I could have got that deal from last week. Anything else? Let's get Warrior Predator. Let's take a closer look at the punk turtles once again, in case I didn't show it. <laughs> My excitement has. Man, this is, it's been a while since I've been this excited and finding stuff. Anything new back there? Nah, we've seen these before. Alright, man, well, let's get this stuff and get out of here. Oh, you know what? I almost missed this. This was behind here. And I thought it was a, a raft, but they have Samurai Usagi. So picking this one up as well. Totally forgot about this. Almost missed it. Damn, that would have been close yeah I just had another collector come by he picked up one of the foot ninjas and elite guard that I just showed so pretty cool that he got what he needed he didn't want anything else yeah I'm gonna go ahead and just pass on these I don't really need these I'm pretty content with just the ones that I have these are regular ones all right let's move on hey what's going on fellow rangers welcome back to my humble abode long time no talk hope you've all been doing well it's been uh, let's see two months a little bit more than two months since i've uploaded a video so it's been quite a while um i've just been busy with life y'all know how it goes you know sometimes things just come into your life and it just kind of takes over and um you know it's not just one thing but there's a lot of things and I don't want to rant about it because there's just it's been so much going on you know some good some bad um you know but it is what it is um maybe i'll talk about it later down the road but um just want to focus on what i've been picking up or what i picked up lately in the past two months and a half and um yeah just talk toys basically anyways let's go and get to this haul so I finally picked up Maestro from the Marvel Legends line. Great looking figure. Um, I think it's sold out now. So, you know, I was waiting for it to go on sale somewhere. But um, I did get like a non-mint box. So it was a little bit cheaper on Big Bad Toy Store. But, yeah, great looking Maestro. I wish it did, I wish it did come with like more accessories. Um like cap shield but then again you know we all you know most marvel Legends collectors have like cap shield but then then again we usually display them with the cap and so far so if you know the storyline uh well, some stories of maestro then you know what i'm talking about anyways here we have zangief from storm collectibles 
Uh, this was on sale on uh, Big Bad Toy Store for like I think eighty three ninety nine. Uh, like a month later after I picked it up, it went on sale for like seventy something. So yeah, I was kind of a little mad, but you know that happens here and there. But uh, still a great looking figure, nice and beefy. Pretty sure he's still available on Big Bad Toy Store. Here we got one of my favorite fictional characters, Guts. Definitely from my favorite manga series. Um, the manga is called Berserk, in case you don't know. Uh, this is from Figure Arts. And, um, yeah, it doesn't have the uh, best articulation. Um, very flimsy. It's probably going to end up falling uh, while I'm recording this, honestly. Um, but it still has a really good... Uh, display value in my opinion so i'm still pleased with this and i actually have griffith as well his arch enemy so i'll show that here in a little bit I'm kind of lazy to take it out from where it is right now um and let's see i did you know i told you i'm not gonna pick these two up but i actually like this leonardo as hunchback more than the leonardo as um the creature from the black lagoon so that's why I went ahead and picked this up. And I got these two and another figure last week when the Target was having that sale. Where if you make a purchase of $75 or more, then you get $25, $20 off. So yeah, got a great deal on these. And yeah, these look much better in person. So very happy to have gotten these. Uh, Raph, you know, I don't know which one I like more, you know. This one or the Wolfman version i still haven't take the taken the wolfman uh figure out of the packaging but yeah these look definitely much better in person no doubt like the details are freaking amazing you know especially for the price point in my opinion and you know honestly i really just wanted one of each you know brothers tmnt brothers um from this line but man after i saw that wolfman you know it looked it looked really good, so I had to pick it up. So I got two rafts, and this he's the only um, brother to have two um, uh, figures from this line. So, but yeah, this line is great. I'm not going to pick up Splinter and um, April. Yeah, I'm just going to stick with the brothers and Casey Jones. All right, and let's see. Oh, man, these are so hot right now. People are going crazy over these, saying they're like the best – uh, turtle figures ever uh for me personally not my favorite could be my second favorite my first um if you've been with the channel then you may know put let me know in the comments if um if you think you know what's my favorite uh turtle figures um but yeah these uh these look great i mean don't get me wrong yeah, these look fantastic. Really good details. Comes with a lot of accessories. What I really love about this set is the face sculpts. Like they have, they're very expressive, as you can see. And I put my, the put my favorite ones of each brother face sculpts on these. And they look freaking awesome. Yeah, very nice. And then uh, let's see. That's. Yeah, let's go ahead and move on to some other stuff. All right, here is Griffith. He's actually in a detox, so I uh, don't want to take him out. Because if I open the door, he's probably going to knock some other figures. <laughs> um, but, yeah, this is a excellent-looking Griffith figure, no doubt. Um, it was a bit expensive, in my opinion, mostly because that horse, I'm sure, is... Uh, yeah, I feel like the horse is a little, a little bit big for the scale of the figure, but yeah, still a magnificent looking set in my opinion. Sometimes I do wonder, why did I get this bastard? I really, really dislike this character in the manga. Freaking narcissistic bastard. All right, let's move on. All right, some of y'all going to probably hate me because I totally forgot the name of this vehicle and this character. But uh, this was from Hasbro, and man, I can't believe they sold out, and they're not selling more of this. Um, yeah, so I'm glad I pre-ordered this. I kind of, I wish I pre-ordered more, man. This is such an awesome vehicle. Like, so many details, and this was only a hundred bucks. Like, they could have done, like, a HasLab with this and made a lot more, you know? I probably would have bought this for 150 
or maybe even 200. This is so nice. What do y'all think to those who have this? So yeah, if you if you're new to the channel, GI Joe, the GI Joe line is one line. It's probably the only line like I have no nostalgic uh, connection to. I never thought I would get it, get into GI Joes. Um but I love the G.I. Joe line. It's one of my favorite lines to collect. You know, I'm very selective and I, it's really fun for me to just select the ones that I really find uh, aesthetically pleasing. And yeah, this is so nice. A hundred bucks for this vehicle and this um, uh, this character. I mean, look, it's, this guy has tattoos. I mean, man, the G.I. Joe uh, team from Hasbro, they, they put their hearts and soul souls into this line and it shows that's why i really love it let's see we also have i also picked up e honda from ebay actually uh he is sold this version is sold out on has been sold out on B, uh, big bad twister for quite a while but yeah i'm very selective with the storm collectible street fighter line even mortal kombat i'm gonna probably collect all the figures from the jada toy line but um yeah i like the big boys on uh, the Tree Fighter uh, line for sure, and especially this one is very nostalgic to me. Um, it's, uh, I think it's called the Champion Edition or something like that. But yeah, when I think of E Honda, this is a suit, the outfit that I think of. Yeah, it looks very good. You know? And here, oh, let me tell you, uh, this is the uh, Arkham Knight Batman um, based off the video game. And I actually beat all the. Um, Arkham games on the PC uh, in the last two, three months, all on hard mode. It took a while on each, but man, it was so satisfying to beat it on hard mode. It is one of the, like I played the, the first one, Arkham Asylum, back in the day. I'm pretty sure on the Xbox Xbox 360, and I beat it. I remember it was just uh, just normal mode, and I loved it. Um, for some reason, I just didn't get into the next one, uh, Arkham Knight, but. Yeah, now that I'm older, I mean, looking at the graphics, like, for the times that they came out, like, man, they look better than a lot of recent games, you know? Like, I feel like the Batman games are better than the Spider-Man games, honestly. Like, the mechanics is so satisfying. Like, the grappling hook and just gliding in the air. But, yeah, I actually went to the Hickory Comic Con. Uh, toy, no, Hickory Toy Show, um, which is by... And, and I didn't record. I just, you know... I. I just wasn't feeling it, you know. Just that, I was having one of those days, and I just needed to get out and just do something. So I went, and I've been looking for this figure, you know, because I beat the games recently, and oh, you know what? I I saw this at a at a, a booth, and this guy, it was in box, you know. And he said, "Yeah, it's new. It's never been opened." He, uh, you know, he gave it to me to look at. I looked around, looked at the top. It was, you know, the tape was still sealed and everything. And then I, I quickly looked at the bottom, but I only looked at it for like a split second. And I didn't notice that it was actually, the seal was broken. It was cut. And I remember that split second, he actually reached his hand and he was trying to grab the box. But I guess because I did, I looked away very quickly and I kept looking at the side and, you know, I didn't mention that it was broken because I didn't know it was broken. You know, he he put his hand back and he didn't say nothing about it. But he was he he was charging twenty bucks for it, and um, you know I was okay with it because I know on eBay this is this loose is going for like sixty bucks. So ultimately the joke's on him, you know. So I'm looking forward to seeing him again. I'm gonna bring it up. But yeah, really pleased to have gotten this. Yeah, it's still in very great condition. Had all the accessories. I still got the box and everything. Came with the car too. So, but he definitely lied to me. He was trying to scam me. He thought he, you know, pulled one on me. But yeah, jokes on him. <laughs> Anyways, let's move on. All right, I'm too lazy to take these to the toy table. So this is my display up here. Um, these are the X-Men 97 figures. Um, I did find them at Walmart. Luckily, I did find two Wolverines. Uh, of course, I had to keep one on card. And I thought they were going to be more... Um, I thought they were going to be uh, more abundant, you know, because the show and everything. But no, Wolverine and Rogue are very difficult to get right now. 
Um, I still don't have Storm and Rogue. I'm pretty sure Storm's going to be easy to get uh, for quite a while. But Rogue is sold out everywhere, which is ridiculous. But I mean, I'm, I'm okay with the Rogue that I have here. I mean, that's the... Yeah, the um, from one back in the day, Juggernaut Build a Figure Wave. And then, of course, I got the other one that came out, what, last, like two years ago. But eventually, I'll, you know, I'm pretty sure Hasbro's going to produce more. I don't see why they wouldn't, you know what I'm saying? But, yeah, let me know what you think about this show so far. Like, ah, uh, I think it's freak. I, I, I'm, I'm freaking loving it. The nostalgia is real, you know? Gosh. Anyway, let's move on. All right, once again, from Target, man, we found a lot of great stuff this past week, especially uh, the, the week where, you know, they had that deal, you know, if you buy, make a purchase of $75 or more, you get $20 off, and this was included here, this uh, 60th anniversary um, G.I. Joe action soldier. Um, this is, yeah, I'm pretty sure it's going to be an army builder uh, for most people. Um, maybe including me because this set is freaking awesome, dude. Look at all these accessories for $34.99. But of course, I got that deal. So this was, I think, came out to like $27 something. Yeah, I'm pretty sure this is going to be difficult to find on clearance. You know, I don't think it's going to make it clearance, in my opinion. Because I mean, it comes with cloth goods. Yeah, this is such a. Tell you the G.I. Joe line, man. They, they have all the respect for me, man. Look at that. It looks so freaking good. Yeah, I need to try to army build this. This was the only one there. They still had a whole bunch of metal heads and the scuba diving one. Um, a whole bunch of... Uh, I forget the other one. But yeah, this looks great. So freaking good. And then also from that package deal, we got the Scarlet Spider. Really happy to have found this. Uh, the card is not in the best condition. doesn't matter. I'm going to take this one out. Um, but yeah, looks freaking good. Very nice. You know, I do have the older version. Now think about it. Ah, uh, you know, I'm kind of lazy right now, guys. This isn't this way. <laughs> I'm pretty sure y'all seen a lot of. You can look up a review if you want to. <laughs> have a lot to show in this video, so I'll move on. <laughs> but look at man, look at Tombstone. Gosh, the face sculpts are freaking amazing. I didn't know it was gonna be this good. You know, I was going to wait for this to hit clearance. But after seeing this in person, man, I didn't mind buying it full price. I mean, look at the suit, like the glossiness in it. It's just, it looks so freaking clean, man. But the face sculpts, you know, that's what really did it for me. Very expressive, you know, really love expressive action figures. Love that one right there. <laughs> and then, uh, yeah, from the Comic Con, also the. Or the toy show. Also picked this one up finally. Um, it says fifteen, but he charged me ten bucks. You know, so if you can go any lower, and he said ten bucks, so I really appreciate it. Yeah, very good looking um, Odin figure, no doubt. Definitely got likeness of Anthony Hopkins. I get the reference. All right. Hey, I'm not nervous anymore. Yay. <laughs> Just gotta get my groove back, right? <laughs> Pretty sure a lot of toy hunters know how it is. Maybe not. I'm not sure. All right, and this, woo we it's about time we got a better saber tooth, a proper looking one, man. Honestly, I would like it bigger, you know, but I mean, this will do. I'll accept that. I mean, great face sculpts, very expressive. Um. Yeah, I am loving this set. Of course, Wolverine. Another Wolverine. I don't mind another Wolverine, honestly. Give me all the Wolverines. I'll still buy them. Because <laughs> with the, some cards there. Oh, it's a full house. Hey. Oh, I miss playing Texas Hold'em. But, yeah, excellent looking set. And then, let's see, from um, uh, Target... Got Wolfman. Looks great. Yeah, I think I like the Frankenstein. Uh, you know, said I wasn't gonna get those, but to compare it to these, yeah, I think I like those more than these. But this one still looks good. That's why I picked it up. Obviously. 
right. Okay, let's move on. All right, from GameStop. Within, I think, two or three days. Yeah, we found all four of these, luckily. Um, yeah, very pleased with how these came out. Love the uh, little photograph that it comes with with each character. Pretty sure they're lenticular. But, yeah, they look good. I'll be a bit quicker with this one. This is a very long video. Killer Croc. <laughs> Goofy like a Marasaga. Looks awesome though. Yeah, once again, the nostalgia is real. Two Face. And this one I got from eBay uh, a couple months ago. This is based off the comic series Saga, one of my favorite comic series ever. Uh, this is the character, the Will. He's a mercenary, and the Lying Cat, his sidekick. This cat can sense when someone is lying. And it usually calls them out. <laughs> but yeah, if you haven't read the saga, saga like it kind of gets a little bit, I don't know, the story kind of gets weak after, um, I forget, like the third, fourth absolute book, in my opinion. And, but the first, oh, the first, like, two books, so good. I love it. All right, let's move on. All right, my dudes. First, I got to say, Cowbunga. Oh, man, it was so, as y'all saw from the video, I was so happy to have found these. Oh, I actually went earlier today to see the remnants of, of the Holothon stuff there, and everything was taken. Every Well, you know what, there are two, uh, the uh, Metal, Bebop, and Rocksteady two-packs, but that's it. Everything else was taken. Um, I did decide to not pick up the Punk punk turtles i just yeah i just didn't need them um i mean we don't need any of these technically but yeah i just i'm okay with the ones that i have and you know i really wish um when the two packs were out and available at stores i wish i picked some of those up to keep in box because they look so good in the two packs in my opinion so that's why i picked these up so i could just keep them in the box i mean they look great of course they do come with other accessories which is cool, but I already have these turtles from the two packs out of box, so I just don't need to take these out. I think these do have like a darker shade of green, but I could be wrong. Let me in the comments if you do know the difference. But yeah, these look good. Yeah, I'll take a closer look in 1080p. Um, yeah, goldfish. Yeah, a lot of accessories. It's good, but yeah, I won't show it all, but I will show y'all this two pack close up. Yeah, you know, they're gonna come with the other brothers and other uh costumes, so man, looking forward to getting those, hunting those down. But these look awesome, man. I mean, they look so freaking clean, and yeah, I don't really see any flaws, honestly. But yeah, eventually, gonna take these out. I do need to make some more room. My TMNT display. But love the uh, box art. Yeah. Great accessories. Love it. Yeah. This one is the one I was most excited for. And then almost missed it. Samurai Usagi. Looks good. Goofy looking creature. But yeah. Looks awesome photo really love the box art all right i think that does it i mean there's some other stuff that i picked up but yeah i'm pretty sure i just put them away and displayed them so i can't remember well i did pick up this um found this at ross yeah 4.99 hello tommy pickles love the show rugrats one of my favorite 90s cartoon shows uh, and it was a chase, so I was very surprised to see this in very good condition in, at Raw, so I had to pick it up. Very cool. Anyways, thank you all for watching. I really appreciate a whole heap. Uh, especially if you watched the whole dang video, I'm pretty sure it's really long, so thanks for bearing with me. And yeah, thank you for your patience, you know, stick around with, with the channel. I know I take these breaks here and there, but um, 
you know, y'all know how it is. Life kind of takes over at times, and um, it is what it is. But um, yeah, all in all, you know, I'm doing fine. You know, uh, I've been really focused on weightlifting lately. You know, I really got into weightlifting like several months or like five, six months ago, and I, I freaking love it. Never thought I'd get into weightlifting, but uh, it's been a, it's been an exciting journey, and uh, it's been yeah, it's been really good for my health. But um, yeah, hope y'all are you know taking care of yourselves physically and mentally. Um, hope you're been finding. Hope you all. Hope you've all been finding some good stuff out there. And um, yeah, let me know in the comments if you want to share anything or if you have any comments about any of these uh, figures or um, anything from the hunt or if you want to share anything from outside the collecting uh, realm. Um, but yeah, thanks again for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe, and I'll catch y'all next time. All right, Rain Drought. Peace.